Hey guys, uh, before I begin the guide, I wanted to mention that if you are a new Vlad player, I recommend watching Hopko's Vladimir guide first, as it has a lot of the uh, basic combos that you need to know. And this is more of an advanced guide that introduces a lot of new mechanics, such as input buffering, which um, I'll be explaining in the video. So yeah, uh, link in the description, I recommend you watch that video first. It's stuff like the e-pool and um, Q, uh, QR and all that. So yeah, link in the description and enjoy. Alright guys, so this is my advanced Vladimir combo guide I'm going to be doing today. And I will be showing you how to do that fast combo right there. And this is going to be um, in detail from starting from the bottom, going all the way up to what I just did. Uh, so that every person can understand it fully. Now I'm going to be starting from the very basics just to uh, just to build the foundation of uh, how the combo works. So we're going to be going back to the beginning, uh, to the basics. When you uh, use your Q on the target, your character goes and uses the ability. Right? And then, now the star of the show is Flash. Flash is a short range gap closer. And the main part here is that Flash does not cancel any command that you input. Right? So, to get to the point, if I use Q on a target dummy, and then I flash in between it, it will not cancel the Q, and then as soon as I get in range to cast Q, it'll um, cast the Q uh, immediately, as soon as I get into range. Like that. Rather than, you know, flashing and then queuing, Because that gives people time to flash or react. Alright, next up, uh, we have... F uh, E flash, every Vladimir main knows this combo, you know, flash like this. And if you play Vlad, you might be flashing and doing that, which is fine because you get all the damage in, except it's, you know, susceptible to people flashing away from it. So similarly to what I just showed you a, few, uh, a minute ago, you can input buffer your Q and then use flash to gap close, so like that, and I got all the damage in. So hold E, input Q, and then, yeah. And uh, since it casts the damage at the same time and it's that fast, it'll actually combine the damage into one number, which is interesting. All right, now uh, the combo, the uh, ulti flash combo, I watched uh, Elite 500's guide and he said you get uh, preferably double stack Q, you hold E, you flash, and then, you know, you cast ulti, and then you just do it really fast. But for me, I can't really do that as quickly, so I like to use the input buffering method I just uh, showed you guys. So, you start by getting uh, double stack Q. And there you go. Now, that was a lot, lot to take in, so I'm going to be showing you how I did that. Firstly, your ultimate, similarly to your uh, Q, you cast it, your character walks up and um, uh, yeah, cast it down. And note that Hemoplague does not have a cast time, and the second you press it, it will cast down. Same thing with Flash. So if you cast Q, or if you cast ulti on a target that's too far away, but then you immediately flash, it will cast ulti the instant uh, second that you do flash so we can combine this with our other knowledge that we learned by uh, holding E casting R and then flashing and then we combine this with our Q and then we Q right after that's the hard part like that and then uh, you just add an ignite or you just have to add an ignite if you want to Going for the solo kill, and then eventually you can get faster at it. In my opinion, this combo is harder to do than Gangplank's one part or Phantom Barrel, and I've been a Gangplank main for a while, so I would practice it heavily a lot. Another thing to note is that um, I would highly suggest you only use this to snowball lanes to get kills onto your lane and then snowball. If you're in like a 30 minute, you know, team fight, and it all depends on you know whether you get the combo it's okay to flash and then you don't need to use this uh mechanic to um in like late game team fights this uh is only to get you ahead in lane in my opinion 
And yeah, that's pretty much all I have today. Um, I do have some clips that I can put at the end of the video in a second uh, for my Twitch stream. I'm trying to live stream more often and uh, my goal right now is to reach Master Tier by the end of the season. And yeah, links and everything will be in the description.